Welcome to Electro Online, and here we have a mixture problem. And so the problem reads as follows. How much of a 40% acid solution must be added to a 4.6 liter of an 84% acid solution to obtain a 60% acid solution? And so in this case, they don't tell us how much of the final solution they want. They just want to know how much of the initial solution, the 40% acid solution, to add to a given quantity of an 84% acid solution. So it's a little bit different from the norm but the approach should be the same. We always should start out by saying let x represent something. And so in this case, let x equal the amount of the 40% solution. That's what we're looking for. So we're looking for x. So now we want to set up something that looks like this. We're going to have a certain amount of the 40% solution. So we have 40% and the amount that we have there is x. So we have x quantity or x liters of a 40% solution. We're going to add that to a known quantity uh, of 84% solution. So we have 84% solution and we have 4.6 liters of that. And then when we add that together, we end up with a 60% solution. And the amount that we'll have will be x plus 4.6. Now what this is keeping track of is this is keeping track of how much acid was in this solution plus how much acid is in this solution and the two combined should equal the total amount of acid we have in the final solution. Because when we take the volume and we multiply times the percentage we get that amount of acid. So the amount of acid here plus the amount of acid here adds up to the total amount of acid in that solution and that will be our equation. Therefore we can say that uh, 0.4x plus 0.84 times 4.6 must equal 0.6 times x plus 4.6. And that equation we can solve for x and that will tell us how much of the initial solution we need to add. All right, first of all, I think we need to multiply both sides by 100 to get rid of the decimal. So multiply the left side by 100 and the right side of the equation by 100 as well. Okay, that gives us 40x plus 84 times 4.6 is equal to 60 times x plus 4.6. Alright, the next thing we want to do is get rid of the parentheses. So 40x plus, and let me work that out with a calculator, it's a little faster. So we have 84 times 4.6 equals, that would be 386.4, oop, 300 n. 86.4 is equal to 60x plus, that would be 240 plus 36, that would be 276. Quick check, 60 times 4.6 equals 276. All right, now we want to move all the variable, all the, um, all the terms with an x in it to the left, everything else to the right, so that ends, we get 40x minus 60x is equal to 276 minus 386.4. That means minus 20x is equal to 276 minus 386.4 equals, that's minus 110.4. Divide both sides by minus 20. And we get x is equal to, divided by 20 equals 5.52. 5.52. All right, let's see if we got that right. I'm going to check that real quick. 84 times 4.6 equals 386.4, and that looks good. And so that would be the answer. So what we need is we need 5.52 liters, 5.52 liters of the original solution added to 4.6 liters of the 84% solution to give us 5.52 plus 4.6 liters of a 60% solution. And that's how we do that problem.